Hi, Lillian here, health, fitness trainer and coach. And in today's video, I'm going to speak to you about how do I stop eating sugar to lose weight? This question was asked of me by a lady who has tried a number of diets and plans over the years, has lost some weight, but she's not been successful in keeping it off and maintaining it. So she realized that she had a sweet tooth and she had to deal with it. Now, I shared on several of my videos about my addiction to sugar, and I'm glad to say that it's about 90% controllable and manageable now. Um, I do have the odd slip now and then, but a majority of the time, I'm perfectly good at managing my sugar. Uh, many years ago, it was a totally different story. And also by... Um, my experience I've also done a lot of research as to the harmful effects of sugar um, it has on one's body and also how it contributes towards weight gain so today I'm going to share with you five tips on how to come off the sugar and start to lose the weight that you desire to lose okay so um, and by the way these um, five tips they're not for everybody, yeah? It's not a case of one rule suits everybody. You have to try different things to see what works for you, particularly if you've got a sweet tooth, you've had that for many years, or you sense that you've got a sugar addiction. So number one is identify uh, the hidden sugars. Look for the hidden sugars in the foods and the drinks that you're consuming. You'll be amazed at the number of food items, especially that are on the supermarket shelves that contain sugar. We're talking brown sauce, tomato ketchups, tinned vegetables, curries, pies, crisps even, bread, uh, mayonnaise, salad cream, number of items out there that contain hidden sugar so make a point of reading the food ingredients and noting what contains sugar and what doesn't go for the ones that doesn't contain sugar okay next track how much sugar you're consuming throughout your day again you'll be so amazed as to how much sugar you're actually consuming and that's in the form of food as well as drinks and a note here that alcohol is also considered to contain a lot of sugar okay so you might be eating healthily your vegetables and everything else and exercising and sleeping well but if you're consuming a lot of alcohol then of course it contains a lot of sugar and that's also considered to be a hidden sugar as well um, so begin to um, keep a food diary note down the food items that you're eating and also you'll notice that when you start to cut back on the sugar that you'll feel less bloated you'll have better moods and of course you'll start to lose weight as well try not to go cold turkey um, that's not going to work but look at the items that you're eating quite frequently and decide okay which items am I going to stop having um, more of or less of um, let me cut back on the drinks, maybe sugary drinks. Let me cut back on um, having biscuits, something like that. Be reasonable and be sensible as you cut it back. The next thing to do is to identify what actually triggers off you wanting to have sugar. What triggers off your sugar cravings? For me personally, it was stressed or when I felt depressed. Years ago, it was when I felt I lacked energy and I just had to reach for something that would give me more energy um, so that I wouldn't flag out but now thankfully I know better than to do that so look at what triggers off your your sugar cravings your the need to have sugar and deal with the root cause of that rather than use sugar as a substitute as a comfort or as an emotional stabilizer deal with the root cause of what's triggering off that sugar um, addiction or craving and when you get used to doing that, you'll find that you'll need less sugar. And the next point is to do some mindset work. Really get to your truth as to why you, you feel that you have a sweet tooth or you need more and more sugar. Um, and if you, you're not able to do this yourself, then reach out and ask for some professional help to help you with this. I did. I had a coach, thankfully, to help me. Um, clear out the sugar stuff and, and have less sugar um, so that I am in the position that I am today where I'm not craving so much sugar as I did before. And the last point is to balance your hormones. This is vital because if you are producing a lot of cortisol, which is responsible for stress, 
or you're producing a lot of insulin, then you're sending um, mixed messages to your brain as to what you need to eat. It will lead you to want to eat or to crave sugar because sugar is the um, quickest form of food, if you want to call it for want of a better word, that the body can convert quickly into energy. So you want to be able to control your hormones and manage them relatively well by eating regularly throughout your day, eating lots of um, vegetables, make sure that you're having lots of proteins, carbohydrates, healthy ones, um, and essential fats as well. And swap items. So instead of always going for sugary items, go for savory items or go for vegetable-based items. That way, you're not going to be obeying that trigger of sugar all the time or that craving for sugar, okay? So, as I said, one rule doesn't suit all. Choose a tip that I've mentioned now. Start with one, yeah, just one. And give it a go and let me know how you get on.